Is that it? Nothing else yet? Nope, that's it. That was pretty awesome, even though I effed that up royally in the first go. Your Imperial friend is truly impeccable timing. Had he came even a few moments earlier, he might actually have stood a chance. In any event, that is two battles won in a single day, which by my reckoning gives us twice the cause to celebrate. But first, I pray you grant me a moment to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, we are one step closer to freeing my homeland from the tyranny of the Empire. I am in your debt. Of course, if all goes to plan, this is like to be but the first of many such debts. Yet I promise to endure my insolvency with a smile, out of gratitude to the Kami for seeing fit to send you hither. Hot. No dawn complete. Ooh, look! Question mark and ether current. Glory to the Han. Hyen has what can be described as a shite eating grin. Ah, but it would be rude of me to monopolize your attention. Doubtless there are others who would speak with you. Let us go and greet Temilun Han. Atun. It's, it's weird that it's not anywhere near what you would think. Welcome, warriors of the steppe. It is an honor to receive you once more. We observed the battle from a distance and marked the moment of your triumph. In that instance, I wept tears of joy. Not only did you bring us victory in the Nadam, but you ensured that every one of my kingsmen, kingsmen returned with their lives. Some were more gravely wounded than others, but none were lost to us. We could not have asked for anything more. If it is not too much of an imposition, would you be willing to go and speak with them? A simple gesture for those who, with whom you shared the battlefield. Can do. Is it going to be the people from before the battle? Do, 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 do. Some part of me still struggles to believe it, but we won! We defeated the Oranir and the Dathal, and won! When they appeared before us, I was filled with such fear as I have never known. But then I saw you charged with Serena and the others, and before I knew it, I was running and shouting. I will carry the memory of that moment with me always, as well as the moment when you became one with the Oval and were declared Han. The victory pose you struck was a sight to behold. I say, would you be willing to show us again? Got a boring victory pose. <laughs> Summon and Scholar have the worst for the battle stance and victory pauses. Oh, that's the stuff of legend! That's the Han in all its splendor! Praise be to the Han and to the gods for guiding him to us! Glory to the Han and his comrades forever and ever! A hundred years! The Khan!
speak with Serena. I mean, there's so many good battle poses, and none of them belong to the Summoner or the Scholar. Ah, Alexander, I am told you give the young warriors a fine show. Grandmother and I have been discussing how we might best express our gratitude to you. Mere words did not seem sufficient. This is a Morin Kur, a traditional instrument of our people. The feats of our greatest heroes, like Bardem and Chaka, are preserved in song. Yours too will live on for years to come. Perhaps one day you might learn how to play it. But even if you do not, you may look on the Morin Kur and remember this time, this place. This time, this place. As we will when we hearken to the music. The Morin Kur and Ivakurit, a traditional instrument of the Azim Steppe's nomadic Zela tribes. The Morin Kur has two strings, the male and the female, woven together from the tail hair of a stallion and a mare, respectively. Ba, 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 ba. In crimson they walked. Ooh, another mystery gift. Lord Hyen's eyes are filled with determination. Well, I know that the next step is going to be taking us... Where is it? Back to Yangshai. Well, we'll be going there first. So, I want to do what's left of the Ether quests. Let's unlock flying here first. Alright, so is there a one yet to us? Oh my god, that's far away. That would be new. All right, let's head to the Dawn Thorn and accept the first of our quests. So it's somewhere here. All right. Isujin. Isujin hums quietly to himself as he works. Forty years and counting. Ah, a man not of the step. How unusual. Were it that I had the time, I would take you around and acquaint you with our small settlement. Alas, as the Oranier's only culinarium, time is a rare commodity. I must keep all fifty of our warriors fit. Thankfully, now that the meat has been cut and the entrails soaked, all that is left for me to do is... Oh! Ah! I am out of sheep's milk! This is a disaster! If I leave the sheep... The, if I leave to milk sheep now, I will fall behind on cooking, and the starved masses will sure to lynch me upon their return. I am loath to have to ask this of you, uh, especially since we are virtual strangers, but might you fetch me some milk? About three pails should suffice. On the other side of our encampment is Sorokan. You would need to receive her permission first to approach the sheep. Alright. That seems fair to me. Seems more of a task for Lise given she was doing the sheep milking. Ba -da 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 -da. Is Sujin sent you? That he would ask an outsider of all people to do his work for him. The man has not a shred of common sense. Uh, any road, the sheep are just over there. Feel free to take as much milk as you need. Well, three pails. Fatten sheep. Two blacks and a white. Un. Twa! Three milky sheepies and well done. Alright, fair enough. I'm guessing that again this is gonna be one that's meant to lead you into a set of mini quests. 
that may be done in the future, but they're not being done right now. Alright, Sujin, I have your milk. It's all milky. Ah, you showed up in the nick of time. You've brought the sheep's milk, right? Yep. Pails of fresh sheep's milk. The milk in this pail is so fresh, it's still slightly warm. <coughs> oh, bless you, my friend. From our, from our foods to our tea, we use this milk for nearly everything. That is why I must maintain a constant watch over my supplies. Ugh. It is, however, something that has become increasingly difficult to do of late. The number of hungry mouths I must feed grows by the day, but I remain our only culinarian. Is this Sujin bothering you? You need not pay heed. He pay him any heed. He is inconsequential to our tribe. <laughs> the man is nearly forty, yet the only thing he can properly wield is a ladle. Uh, Kazuki is right. I am feeble, the weakest among our brothers. It should come as no surprise, then, that here, in a tribe where your standing hinges solely upon how strong you are, uh, I am affronted little respect. When ev everyone else is out hunting, I am left here to cook whatever they bring back from their last excursion. While most Oranya will claim that all brothers under our most radiant brother, Magnai, are equal, nothing could be further from the truth. I wish to be stronger, strong enough to prove to them that I am not worthless. How about you just don't cook for them for a week? Say, might you agree to help me with my cooking on occasion? It would affront me time to train and earn my place among the other warriors. Well, when I've got the time. Ha <laughs> ha, you certainly know how to brighten a man's day. Thank you, Master, uh, Alex. Alexander? No, I said Alex. It is good to finally be able to put a name to your face. Now uh, with that, ba 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 ba. Again, does sound interesting, but tis not for now. Alright, we have two currents and one final quest. Oh, that jump didn't work. Can I make it? Just. Alright. To the west. Oh, God. Uh, let's skirt around the back. I'd rather not fight anything before I've healed back up from my fall. Oh, he just got a new location. And as we're heading this way, we'll discover another new one. Northwest, so exactly where I'm heading. Do, do. Hundred and twenty one. Ah, there it is. And I think there should be only one left after this. Oops. Yep, one left. And it is Southwest. So, here, somewhere. Possibly in the area that we've not uncovered yet. Oh, Sabertooth Tiger. Is that... So, okay, it's not. This square here looks like an unco... Uh, not covered. Yes, uncovered. That's how that word works. Area. What the heck are you? You've got a massive club in your hand, though. 
Let's not anger such a creature. Hmm. I don't think I can go this way. Oh, can I? Southwest yet? No, I, I've got a feeling it's not going to let us try and cheat me way up there. Come on. Can we do it? Haha, -ha, we can! What the heck is that? It's a sum. That's level 70. Hello, sub. Is there literally nothing else up here? Okay. To the southwest! Hmm. I would say I can't get there until I learn to fly. Oh, it could be inside that unlocks that area. Oh, wait. Northwest. Yep, so it's definitely in here. Ah, that's that. Opened up. Oh. Seems we found a new tribe. And we found an ether current. Very fiery cave. All that remains is that we complete the final quest. Which is down here. The long journey there. Not as long as if I was up at the Mole Tribes area. Still, long nonetheless. Alright, who am I talking to? Someone over here. Morsi of the Seven Worries. Morsi is haunted by his past. It is not often we have travelers in Dathal Kar. There is something I would ask of you, if you have the time. My name is Morsi of the Seven and Seven Swords. I am a reincarnation of a master swordsman. They say he was so fast with a sword it was as if he wielded seven blades. Indeed, he was well respected. However, I struggle to believe I am he. No matter how much I practice, my swordsmanship never improves not. I would like you to ask around the village. Find out if I truly am who they say. If there is a secret concerning my previous life, they will not tell me, no matter how much I ask. Do 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 ba ba da. Nope, no one in there. Mergen, hello again. What are you saying? Of course, his name is correct. He may be clumsy with the blade at the moment, but he will improve in time. I hear that the previous Mor C also struggled when he first picked up a sword. All he needs to do is train. All right. You do not believe Morsi to be the reincarnation of a swordsman? Nonsense! There is no other Dathal born the year Morsi passed. Or there were no other. The previous Morsi of the Seven and Seven Swords was a true warrior. His swordsmanship was unmatched. I cannot believe he would not be reincarnated. Alright.
Auger Jam. That Morsi, he always happens to run off somewhere when I try to help him with his training. He does his name a disservice. Huh. I don't know which one it is, but I recall people talking about a quest that comes from this village that's very interesting. I think it's going to be that one. I'll check on that and I'll probably come back and do that another time. Were you able to learn aught? I see. I am exactly as they say. Th my thanks for your help. You look like you could hold your own in battle. How did you grow so strong? I grew strong during my adventures. I had a teacher. Well, I had a lot of teachers, but I grew strong during my adventures. For the most part. Yes, I suppose I am lacking in experience. I cannot leave the village, but I can learn from you. Uh, could I ask you to teach me? I can think of no better way to make myself stronger. You need not answer right away. And I won't. Do, 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 do. Free bird, the Azeeb step. The Azeeb step, either current achievement, is completed. Watch and learn. Let's go and check on that quest that I was curious about over here. And then we'll head over and get back to the main story stuff. This one. Which is you. The Dathali youth is looking for someone to protect her. Hmm. Actually, you know what? No, not you. Uh, Mount. Where is it? There he is. Hello! I can fly now! Whee! Sometimes I wish you wouldn't speak. Yes, well, I do. Alright, let's head back. Oh my god. All the way up to there. You know that thing I said before about how horrible it would be to go all the way across the map? Well, that's what I have to do now. So I'm going to have a drink and you can enjoy some flying. Ah, that's better. You need to keep yourself hydrated, which is not exactly correct. It's more that, well, I suppose if I was going to say your throat gets dry, hydration would be correct. But yes, all the talking over and over and over, like, that's a pterodactyl. Why is there a pterodactyl here? Seeing that, though, that would make for a perfect mount. The Aswang. But yes. All this talking means that you need to have a drink every now and then. Otherwise, you will lose your voice. Which, generally, I wouldn't recommend. Ah, oh, I haven't unlocked everything at the bottom. I'll do that later. We've probably got to go that way eventually, so... I return, and I can fly now! Also, I am here! Alright, Lord Hyen. In crimson they walked. Lord Hyen's eyes are filled with determination. 